in case of anything of interest. I don't it too. That way, in case there's anything of interest, you've got a copy of it. That's great. Yeah. Um, so e easiest thing to do would be to share your screen. Okay. Like did before. And. Um, hmm. Are you still there? Yep. Oh, okay. I just. Oh, sorry. I minimized it. Uh, let's see. How do I share my screen? Um, there's a green button on the bottom that says share screen. Oh. There we go. That... Share your whole desktop. Yeah. Oh, okay. Instead of an so, app, sure. it's easier. Yeah, that's the one I chose. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Your mic, what's is something you got a fish tank? Oh, hmm, there you go, that's better. What'd you just do? I didn't really do anything. Okay, there's something anyway. So, um, so, so you're, you're starting with if, right? An if recipe, yes. Yeah. Um, maybe just walk me through the whole sort of thing, like you basically like walk me through your alpha test. Okay, so what I came up with was after we talked last time. I um, I worked on it with the TiddlyWiki for quite a bit, and I didn't make much progress. So I started looking into using the um, WordPress, mm -hmm. um, and I found that I made more progress with that, but it opened up new problems. Yeah. Um, the new problem that I came up with was that it didn't seem to matter what um, what I did. I couldn't get Instagram or really any um, service to um, to search uh, for anybody's photo instead of just my own. I got it to work really good with my own photo and I had my um, WordPress all set up with different uh, folders, I guess you would call them, or links to uh, the different hashtags that I set up and that part worked really good. So depending on what hashtag I used with my Instagram on my phone, I could send it uh, directly to my WordPress and it would organize it into the appropriate folder. Okay, so you can, do, you can do awesome stuff with your own Instagrams using hashtags. Yep. Cool. That's that's how much real progress I made. So then pretty much for the last week or two, I've been trying to find other avenues to be able to open it up to anybody instead of just my own account. So what, else, what are the other triggers that um, if has for Instagram? Well, let me pull up a new recipe. Not very many. Yeah. Unfortunately. Um, oops. Uh, and they all seem to center around your personal um, account. Yeah, so there's only, it's, um, so it's only if you share a photo. How, can you share somebody else's photo? Um, that I'm not sure. Every time you share a photo, that says, but that, the, the title says new photo by you with a hashtag. So I think that's not any new photo by you, new photo by you. So, okay, yeah, so there's just no triggers for Instagram. Yeah, and what I found was that somewhere here, I was doing some reading yes. before, that I guess Instagram changed their, mm -hmm. I think IPA, is that? Yep, the, um, um, the uh, uh, yeah, no, now you've got me confused on what it's called. <laughs> the API. API, yeah. yeah. And then I have found some places where they said you can do what I'm trying to do. You know, you could use a specific hashtag and search anybody's Instagram account and then you try and link it to uh, if this, then that, and it comes up with a dead page. Like yeah. they used to be able to do it, but they don't anymore. Um, so look at, look at Flickr and see if, there, if there's more hits on Flickr than Instagram. Okay, so I'll, I'll definitely do that. Let me tell you what else I've done. Yeah. Um, I also started fooling around some with uh, Google Voice. Uh -huh. and I've never used Google Voice before, so I set myself up with an account and everything, yep. got it working. And what I found was that if I used Google Voice as, an, as, um, um, as kind of a, a segue in, uh, 
uh, I could do similar things as what I could do with Instagram, but the problem I ran into there, and maybe this is something that you could solve easily. I gotta just open up a different. What's gonna happen if I sign out of this? Let me see here. Um, Yeah, we're on Google. There we go. So this is one that I specifically set up for the class for a Google account and set it up for a, a Google phone number. Oops. So what I found that I could do was that I could use my phone and text message myself pictures to this particular number. Um, and I found recipes uh, in if this then that that would actually do what I wanted to do uh, which was take them out of my Google inbox and then move them other places and I tried it as you can see here I tried it a few different ways I tried going from Gmail directly to WordPress or right. Gmail to um, Dropbox and then also tried it with Google Drive and the problem I ran into, and I don't understand the difference, and maybe it's something you'll be able to see right away, is that if I did, an, um, if I sent myself an attachment in an email, it worked perfectly. Mm -hmm. If I sent it from my phone, it wouldn't do it. It wouldn't work. Um, and I tried it both from my phone, which is Android, and I tried it from my wife's phone, which is. Um, um, yeah. So it's a. Um, that's that's like that's. Let's see. I, that's not actually a Gmail, is it? Is it a? Um, it pulls them into my inbox. Whenever I, if I send a regular text message, it goes into Google Voice. Right. If I send it as a text message with a picture attached, it actually goes into my inbox. So if I go to my inbox, it lists all the phone numbers that have sent pictures, um, and they come up as an attachment. Um. And if I open up, so this is one that I sent myself as an email, and it looks just like a Gmail attachment. If I look at one that I sent myself from a phone message, it looks the same. They look, at, yeah, from all I can tell, they're formatted exactly the same, but it doesn't seem to pull them out like it does the ones that I email myself. So how well, how would this work like if you were actually to build this? The students would text you pictures. The idea is to get pictures from students, right? Yeah, I guess that was my idea. Was if they could use text message to do it, it would um, maybe be a little bit easier of a platform. All I'd have to do would be to give them a phone number, and then they could have the phone number as a contact in their phone, and all semester long they could just text pictures to this uh, phone number, and then it would they would go from there. I hadn't quite figured out all the organization of it. Whether sure, right. would, yeah, you're, you're just trying to get in, you're just trying to get pictures in. So we'll go back to let me let's. Um, I I want to see what if does with Flickr because Flickr seems to have some more. Um, got some pretty cool APIs out there as well. Okay. Oh, I guess I don't have a... Yeah, so if you favorite a photo on Flickr, that's what I was... Yeah. Um, so if you favorite a photo on Flickr, then it will work. Really? Okay. So that would be, you just have to, you have to manually pull them. By favoriting them. Okay. But um, how would I have the students get them on there to Flickr? They put them on Flickr. They would load them directly to Flickr. Yeah, they'd have to have a Flickr account instead of an Instagram account. 
I see. Okay. But, um, but there's probably, or, yeah, or you could make them, um, that would be one way. Flickr's, but it's, Flickr's not really very, uh, Flickr's only for people who it's not social the same way, right? Yeah. Um, I've only used Flickr a few times, and my brother uses it for his photography. So I go on there and look at his pictures. But yeah, it's more like it's it's more for, for um, Flickr, Instagram, and what are Facebook? How about in Facebook? What are the Facebook channels? What if there's a Facebook group and they shared it to a group that you owned? if I have Facebook well I use my Facebook very very little so yeah no I, I'm not a big um, I probably don't even have it connected I might though Yep, you are tagged in a photo. There it is. Oh, there's quite a few for Facebook. Okay. I mean, most of them are by you. The only one that's not by you is about you if you're tagged. So if you had a Facebook user that was your class, that would be able to capture that. Okay. So what this is interesting is that it teaches you, I hope, <laughs> is that figuring out, it's like, okay, I want to build something. I need hooks into content that other people are building. Yeah, definitely. And that's, you know, and that's kind of cool. So it's like, and you see, it's not quite as simple as you might like it to be, but um, yeah, tagging a user wouldn't be bad. You could create a user for your class. Yeah. So if you're tagged and then they'd have to post it to Facebook and tag it. Okay. And then you'd have it. Hmm. That would be a way. Yeah. Um, the other thing that I tried was that through WordPress, Apparently, there's some plugins yep. that would allow WordPress to go out onto Instagram and search. Um, Those are going to be probably not on the free version of of WordPress for sure. That's yeah, that's correct. That's what I found um, was that either I had to pay to host it with them right. or find some. You know, second but, but, tiddly, but tiddly week, I mean, if you can get st if you can get anything. You needed the hook. Your problem was, I mean, the tiddly wiki stuff is in this easy enough to solve. You were having troubles with the hooks. Correct. Yeah. So, you know, it's two ends, right? You got to get both. You got to get, you got to hook it. And once you've got it, you got to process it and do something with it. Yeah. Um, and the hooks are problematic. Um, what I've, I have, um, I've been playing, I, I can show it to you. It's, um, um, I'll turn off your screen. I'll share mine. It might take me a second to figure out where I've put it, but I was, I've been playing in the, um, in the wiki world. Um, so this is totally not what it says. No.
So, um, geez. do I even remember where this is? Um, Wiki. Like it's the right one. Okay. So these are um, they're imported from Flickr. Okay. So I can um, get Flickr on something like this. So this is a um, this is the Flickr API. And you put in a user ID here. Put in some of these other parameters. And return a page that looks like this. Maybe not. Um, that's weird. But you can, and you have to, it, it's kind of annoying. You have to parse it eventually. So you get this data from Flickr. Okay. And then you have to make it into tiddlers that look like this. And you can use this sheet, so I've kind of built this up. But that's, again, that's only from Flickr, and that's like that Flickr is not going to work too well for you. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the Instagram is the right way to do it. That really sucks that they changed their API. Yeah. Um. Um, did you look to see if there's more? Like, do they have a public API? Um, or, I yeah. really no, because I know so little about what how to use an API. Yeah, I don't need, I mean, am I still sharing my screen? No, I'm sorry. That's um, okay. So the Instagram, the, um, I can't see my tab. Flickr APIs look kind of like this. To fill, figure out how to fill these things in, and then run for you. That's the process that day, but that might be more than you want to get into. Probably, it's a little over my head. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 probably not. I mean, you'd be surprised. It's but um. So, uh, do you use Instagram like a lot, or I mean, do you ever like how, how do people use it? Do you know? Well, it's it's really brand new to me. Okay. Um, I've been reading up on it and just playing around with it for this project. So, this is really my first time with it. Um, for the most part, I believe you. I guess it's kind of like Facebook, where you um, you set up groups, you set up friends, right, and you favorite yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, and then you create like a you create like a feed of photos, and you can either have your own feed that other people can view, or you can have group feeds. Um, How can they not? Oh, is this what you've read? This blog that tells you this thing? Yes, I think that was one of them. Yeah, they took, it. okay, yeah, this is what, 
<laughs> That's why, yeah, I used to be able to do it. They took it away in May. Oh. A specific yeah. user post a yeah. photo or video. These are all your, uh, uh, yeah, they took away all this stuff. Yeah, there was one article that said that it, um, uh, well, actually, it was that one plugin. They said they were compliant with the June 1st changes to Instagram. So, mm -hmm. same, you know, same thing. So, yeah, this, this message tells you, yeah, you can't do what you want. Hmm. That's what that's saying. It's like, oh, that's over. <laughs> That's okay. So uh, at least I, at least it used to work. because I, mean, I kind of had a feel. I wouldn't have sent you down that path if I didn't think it worked. But I did. Oh, that, that's okay. Yeah. Look at that. I didn't. I, you know, I'm not. I don't pay that close attention to it. But I, I think somebody did it before, and I remembered it. So, um, yeah. That sucks. Um, what are the triggers that they have for? Um, I looked a little bit into Twitter, yeah, um, but I haven't used Twitter at all, and uh, it didn't. It seemed like Twitter was more um, kind of uh, short message based, more like text messaging, um, than it was attachment or photo based. Uh, I think you oh, definitely, yeah, no, tweeting photos is not the like. How about Pinterest? Yeah, I, again, it's not one I've ever used, but I'd be interested to see what how it works. Um, I did actually find a few things, a few different programs that were similar to what I want to do, but just used for different avenues, different venues. Like there's a couple of them out there for weddings that it's kind of the same idea where, um, and actually one of them used Instagram. So I don't know if they have proprietary software that lets them, uh, you know, pull photos off Instagram or how they do it. But um, where it's essentially what I'm talking about doing where you can set up a specific hashtag for your event and everybody posts with that hashtag. And then when it's all said and done, you have a file of all the photos from your event. On Instagram. I, the one did use Instagram, yeah. Or let me, let me rephrase that. At one time it used Instagram. I didn't look to see how recent that website yeah. was. Yeah, no, that's gone. <laughs> yeah. Because it's only like six weeks ago that it changed, so that stuff's definitely going to be – there's going to be all sorts of old crap out there that's going to – Yeah, and I have found quite a few dead links to IFTTT. Um, oh, yeah, De yeah. definitely. Um, Oh God, I don't think I have a Pinterest account. <laughs> I certainly know I don't, I'm sorry. Okay, I guess I do. Oh. There, I have every account, I, again, I, and they're all the same username, Pat, whatever. That's good. <laughs> all my SUNY stuff. Um, yeah, new pin on your board. So the way that Pinterest works, like I have a board called an old laptop, right? Okay. And yep. so whenever somebody posts to, to your class, whenever there's a new on a board that you created, you just tell them they post to that board. And so that would be the trigger to use. Okay. Tiddly Wiki Images. I must have a board called Tiddly Wiki Images. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't, yeah, so that's, I think that would be, that would be a way to go. And then, you know, then you can word draft it or whatever you want to do with it. Okay. Yeah. The whole point is that you want to, you, you basically want to do a this than that so that you, you're processing information. Yep. Yep. That's, I think Pinterest would work. Okay. And 
for them to be able to post to Pinterest, they'd have to have a Pinterest account. Yeah, I, uh, I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I, can, I can look into that part of it yeah, too. I have no idea. It's just the same as having an in, uh, Instagram account. It doesn't, you know. Yeah. It's all. It doesn't matter. Um, it certainly doesn't matter for the project. For real life, it might matter a little bit, but sure. whatever. You know, yeah. certainly doesn't matter for the project. You could. So what you can do is you can go ahead and create five dummy Pinterest accounts. Yeah. You know, and simulate your student. Call them, you know, student one, student two, whatever, and then you can create sort of a simulated whatever it is in a state. Okay. Um, and then that'll be pretty cool. Okay. So what was the tiddly wiki stuff that you were, that was being challenging? I'm sorry I missed. I missed that. No, that's, that's okay. Um, Cause I can probably I, solve that if you want. Well, uh, I'm trying to think back now. It was a couple weeks ago. Um, I can't remember where I left off with that. Hmm. Not right now, I can't remember. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll show you what 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 we're doing in Tiddly Wiki. Did uh, did I show you the muck stuff? Um, um, I don't think so. You gave me uh, a link to uh, design design right. Yeah. Okay. That so that's not. That's not. Unfortunately, that's not. Um, I've kind of been a little inactive there. So let me. What do I got? It's in summer. Um, yeah, I guess my um, obviously, like you said, for the for the for the project doesn't matter so much. But as far as actually using the, this project in one of my classes, my my idea was to try and use something that either most of the students already had or something that didn't require them to set up a special, um, you know, account. Um, so that's why I was thinking that text messaging might be a really kind of slick way to go because they all do that. Um, and so that's kind of, that was kind of my idea of going after the, the Google voice thing, but that hasn't really panned out either. So, um, no, but that will, I mean, that's actually, that's an easy one to solve. Um, okay. Yeah, if you if you think texting is cool, I, texting is cool. I like texting um, because everybody's got it. It's totally universal. That's what I was thinking, and it's universal across all you know mobile platforms. Yeah, it's just it, it just complete. There's no accounts. It's just you know, and especially with the Google Voice, you don't even have to give them a real number. <laughs> That's the other part of it too. I don't have to give them my phone number. I'll give them a phone number for the class. Right. Um, so that that was kind of what I was why I was thinking that route after I had kind of worked around some other ideas. And you're right. It's pretty much that I, I'm trying to work from two ends towards the middle and trying to get this to work. <laughs> you know, one yeah. end is setting up, setting up the platform to view it on, whether it's TiddlyWiki or WordPress. And the other end is, is hooking all this data from a common source and pulling, you know, from, I should say from different sources and pulling it into a common source mm -hmm. or a common place. So. So did you do the new attachment in email? Um, I did, yes. New attachment in my inbox or something like that, I think it was. Yeah. Um, I actually tried a couple of different ones, I think. I think I tried one that somebody had already made and I tried using their template and then I went and tried to make one of my own. And neither way I really had any success with, with it coming from a text message or a multimedia message or whatever they call them. With uh, with an email though, it worked. It worked perfect. Hmm. Oh, does if has a does if is a text? They have some texting stuff in there yeah but it i want to say it was like maybe outgoing text like it was yeah, text nothing stuff. incoming I right i don't i didn't see anything for incoming but i may have overlooked it too yeah no i think i think it oh well there's incoming let's see SMS 
SMS to your it's phone. Okay. So it looks like you can you might be able to catch it on the SMS chat coming in. Okay. Probably is an Android SMS, but your phone number. So if you set your if phone number, then it will trigger. Going to do with it. <laughs> okay. So you want under Android SMS? Not Android. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So that might you might play with that, but it's um yeah I think it's just it's just like a. I wonder if you can forward your SMS to a Dropbox. If you can get it in Dropbox, you can do pretty much anything with it. Yeah. Um, get it to Google Drive, you can do anything with it. Okay. Well, let me work on those two pieces yeah. of that. Tomorrow. Yeah. And really, for the um, for the class project, whatever. You, you know, whatever you do will be perfectly fine. I mean, it's the it's the journey, you know. Okay. If you get something to work, that would be kind of cool. Yeah. But maybe go with try Facebook or Pinterest, since that's not quite as universal as texting. But right. Say that again. Do all your students have smartphones, or only like half? Uh, for the most part, now all of them have smartphones. Not all, right? Yeah, not all. Very few exceptions, though. Most do. Yeah. So that would be okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Text would, you're probably right, texting would be good. It also uses their data plan, but that's who cares about that. That's fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's true. But for some students, that's an issue. Um, but they, you know, it's it's fine. I mean, you don't have to worry about that again for the class. You're mostly about the concept of having students put stuff into a stream and generate content that they use in their class. Yeah. And then what you're doing is you're processing that content, adding value, and sharing it back with the students. Correct. So understanding that whole process is really what you're working on. Yeah. So, um, you know, however you do it. It's the thought that's most important project. Is what you have to do to get the demo done. Okay. And then, you know, if you want to do it for real and you don't want to use Pinterest, then you only have to change that half of it. You don't have to change the whole thing. Yeah. So, okay. You know, and it's mostly about getting something, you know, getting something to run would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. See, what I did, I think, for my. Um, for my alpha design or my alpha test guide, I, I ended up because it wasn't very user friendly, like right. nobody could post to it. I think I recorded a, um, a YouTube video of myself using it and kind of walked him through the steps. Yep. Of I saw that. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that's I, fine. You know, um, it's mostly just to keep people moving along that I've got these little milestones. Okay. So, um, yeah. Um, so if, if you want to just move it forward so you've got like whatever the 10 days, two weeks or something to wrap it up for the class, then just do Pinterest. I think you'll find that easy. Okay. I'll give that a try and see what I can do with it. I think you'll find that the easiest and most straightforward. It looks like it's got rich tags and if, um, and you want to be, you want to, you, you want to do something in, in ISTTT just so that you've done it, you know? Yeah. So. You, you kind of, even if you could do it with Adam, you kind of want to do that because that's going to give you that sequence of A, B, C that you've moved through it, you've built a recipe, and you're making something happen. Okay. 
That's like, and that's what's cool is that you can do that without having any real skills. Yeah. You know, which is cool. I mean, that's the whole point of the, yeah, not that you have no skills, but you know what I mean. I know. No, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably a fair assessment. No, and it's not fair at all. I was kind of teasing you. But yeah, no, the point is, is that you can do all this back-end stuff with, with only front-end user skills. Yeah. Programming and a little bit of, you know, some knowledge and understanding of how sequencing works. And it's, um, years, years ago in the early 90s, the... <laughs> Okay. program with little graphic symbols and it's basically just like if um, yeah and it was for kids who couldn't read but could program and it's kind of cool we're doing the same thing for adults now it's like it's very cool yeah yeah so um and there's a whole big movement about teaching kids programming again that we haven't seen for like 20 years that's really caught on again so um, and it's funny because you're learning programming skills without learning any languages yeah so yeah Anyway, so I hope that helps you out. That was very helpful. Thank you, yes. Okay. And we'll chat yeah. again. Let me know if you got any other issues going on. Yeah, my last question is this, yeah, recorded, sure. this recorded session that we did, where is it going to end up? Um, as soon as we end the meeting, um, it'll say, you've got a recording. Do you want to convert it and say yes? Okay. And okay. Then, I, I have a folder set up for them. And I said, no, if it would come to me or go to you. So this is um, good. Well, you've got, you have your own and I have my own. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's kind of an interesting feature. So we don't have to move it around. Very good. Okay, great. Thank you. Have a good night. Sure. Catch you later. Bye.